Hello everyone, 10 Outdoors 9 and this ammo test is of the Remington Golden Saber 9mm 147 grain brass jacketed hollow point. This is a standard pressure load, also a non-bonded bullet. I thought this was something I had tested back in 2009 or 2010 when I was using wet pack, but that's not the case. There's nothing in the uploads and checked all my files just to make sure I forgot to upload the test. That's not the case. So this is the first test of heavy for caliber 9mm and the Golden Saber that I have posted. It's not a duplicate of anything. It is a very mild shooting load, low recoil. Those opening shots were from a Glock 19 4-inch barrel. Advertised velocity from Remington out of a 4-inch barrel is 990 feet per second. And there you see my 5-shot average. That was off camera. We have one that was close, one that was over. But the average of those five shots is 964 feet per second, about 3% less than the advertised velocity. We're going to throw this into a block of the sim test media from a distance of 10 feet. That is calibrated to match ballistic gel specs. Also adding four layers of denim. That is an IWBA testing protocol. And one thing I'm hoping not to see in this test is jacket separation. Let's give it a shot. Decent shot placement, and it did not exit the 50-pound, 20-inch block. Let's take a look first at this lower half of the block as I was cutting through. You can see about a half inch in very clearly this pattern as the bullet starts to expand. And one thing about these 147s, since there's not a lot of energy compared, say, to a 115 or a 124, then you get into the plus P's, just don't have a big wide cavity here. This is maybe half an inch wide. But the thing I do like about the 147s, and that's my preferred carry in 9mm, is how deep this is cutting. That's about half an inch. That's from one pedal, then you've got that in another one right there. So that's doing the job. And this cavity runs, if you look underneath, maybe three, three and a half inches. And again, that's a characteristic of the heavier 147s. But the benefit is how deep these are cutting uh, with the size of that bullet. Let's move up to this side. Again, this is just a mirror image of what we had over here. What we're looking for on this half is the total distance. So we're at 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Stop there. Nope, still going. This is just a, a basic path through here. And there we go. I pre-measured this at 15 and 3 eighths inches. And I've also noticed there does appear to be a degree of jacket separation. And what I mean by that since this is not a bonded bullet, this lead core has started to move forward, it appears, and separated from the jacket. But 15 and 3 eighths, that's just about perfect in my book. Let's take a closer look. Here's a cross section that was made at the 2.5 inch mark in penetration. Get that out of the way. And it's roughly 1 inch across from one side to the other. You kind of get an idea from a different perspective of what's going on when this is passing through. Measuring around the expanded pedals, there's the high mark, 0.688, but the average is 0.667. I've given this a pretty good bath in hot water to rinse out the gel, but I'm still coming in a little heavy at 147.4 grains. This may not be the best 147 grain load on the market, but it is definitely not the worst. Far from it. Some good things about it. Recoil, I thought was very good in the 4-inch Glock. Probably shouldn't notice uh, much of a difference in a smaller, say, 3, 3.5-inch, 9mm. Expansion, I thought was really, really good, although we were getting close, I think, to that breaking point with that lead core coming all the way out of that brass jacket. And when you throw in bone and maybe some other types of barriers, it could have been a big factor there. We just don't know from this format, from this uh, single shot, and it's just a representation. The expansion was good. Penetration, I thought, was outstanding, especially given the fact that uh, this had maxed out as far as expansion, or at least it should have. That just shows uh, the value, and that's the way I see it, with the 147 grain loads. You're more likely to get 
the deeper penetration. So some pros and cons, that's the case with every single one of these tests. You just have to determine uh, which way you want to go with it based on your value system. Thanks for watching.